Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. In this video, I explain why the energy gradient is force and why the potential gradient is field strength. Say I lift a ball and its GPE went up by 10 joules every 1 meter. And I lift another ball and its GPE went up at the rate of 20 joules per meter. Which ball is heavier? The second one, right? You're right. But um, do you realize that the rate at which the GP increases with height is the gravitational force acting on the ball. Likewise, the rate at which the EPE of a charge increases with distance tells us the magnitude of the electric force acting on it. If you want to say in a more stylo milo way, you say that the energy gradient is equal to the electric force. Suppose you are in a spacecraft and for some reason, Nobody can tell which direction gravity is acting. Then somebody says, Hey, our GP increases if we go this way. And then you say, Aha, uh -huh, I know. Gravity must be acting in the other way. How did you know? Well, if gravity didn't act this way, why would the GP increase the other way in the first place? Likewise, increasing EPE and electrical force always points in opposite directions. That's why there's a negative sign in the formula. Let me say it again. If the EP of this charge increases this way, it must be because electrical force is trying to pull or push this charge the other way. If we plot on a graph how the EP of a charge varies along this line, we can figure out how the electric force Acting on this charge varies along this line. Remember, F is negative du dx, so the steepness of the slope tells us the magnitude of the electric force. And the direction in which the EP is decreasing is the direction of the electric force. If we divide both sides of the equation by Q, we get the relationship between potential and field strength. Again, if we are given a graph of how the electric potential of an electric field varies along a line, we can figure out how the electric field strength varies along this line. This time, the steepness of the slope tells us the magnitude of the electric field, and the field is always in opposite direction to increasing potential. Alright, this is XM Physics. Um, I try to explain things in an intuitive manner. If you like my style, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Ta-ta!